Praise the Lord. This is Gabriel Joel Harrison. Amen. And he looks very active this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, we are here to celebrate this beautiful treasure that has been given by God to the Harrison family. And we're here to use some examples using these flowers of what it means to be a parent today as well as to be a child. So we begin with the father, Pastor Andre, this red flower. Oh, boy. This red flower represents what a man is, his strength, the blood that runs through his veins. We always think as men that we can do anything, right? We're taught that from birth. Don't cry. You can do anything. And, of course, isn't that true? So, but as we grow in the things of God, we realize we can't do everything. We can't be everything. But we have a God who is everything. Amen? So, I, Andre, I don't have to tell you uh, this over and over again, but you know you can depend on God for everything. But God also depends on you to be the protector, to be the priest of this house. For Maggie, as a mom, this white flower represents love. There's something so beautiful about a mother's love. How many know what I'm talking about? There's something special about a mother's love that it's almost like God's love in the sense that sometimes the mother's love doesn't see anything wrong, right? which can be bad. <laughs> but it's a love no matter what and in spite of. And as Gabriel grows, he will feel that love and see that love in you. And it'll introduce him to the love of God. And one day we pray he will open his own heart to the love of Jesus Christ. Gabriel, we're going to give you your own flower. Let me see if you can. There we go. Yeah. This little pink flower represents innocence. Children are innocent. This is why we don't baptize babies. Baptism is a choice. It's something you do when you know what you're doing. But as a baby, you don't know right from wrong, good from evil. And that innocence, unfortunately, fades very quickly today, especially in today's technological world. But we pray as Gabriel grows that he will be surrounded by good people who will teach him and show him and train him and be examples for him of the love of God. And again, one day he also will make the right choice for Jesus. Now, as we've done in every baby presentation, I'm going to ask Maggie and Andre to say a blessing over their son. And a blessing is a little bit different than a prayer. A prayer is something we hope for, so to speak. But a prayer is something we want to see in the life of our children. Out of our mouth, the Bible says, come blessing and cursing. When you bless your children, they'll be blessed. When you curse your children, they'll be cursed. So this morning, we want to bless them. We want God and everyone to hear what we expect in their lives. Andre? Gabriel, I want you to be balanced, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself, I want you to be an even greater man than I can ever become. I want you to be a man of legacy to uh, pour into your children and to your grandchildren. I want you to be an example to your peers, to what it means to be a young man of God, uh, to respect authority, to uh, honor uh, your parents, your grandparents, yes, to do all that. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Um, I want you to uh, grow up with wisdom beyond your years. And the woman that God has for you, I pray that he is preparing now so that when you are ready to get married, amen, that, <laughs> that uh, it would be a blessed union and, um, in Jesus' name. He does not get the talking from me. That's his father's side. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Gabriel, um, man, I bless you with everything your father said, and I bless you with purity, that you would be a pure man of your word, that you would stand for integrity, that you would stand on the word of God, that you would always know your path, which is Jesus Christ, and you would never stray from it. 
that you would know that we're always right here to pray for you and, and give you guidance. Um, I bless you with just strength to stand up for what you believe in. I bless you with a beautiful wife, a woman of God, that will stand beside you. I think I'm poking him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and a beautiful singing voice, yes. <laughs> and I bless, yes, that's it. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. That's right. Come on, big boy. Come on, come on. I think he's going to be a preacher. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, I got him. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you for this blessing that you've given the Harrison family. And we pray a blessing upon Gabriel, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will give him good health and long life, Lord. And again, surround him with good people. And Father, we pray that everything he does will be successful, whether it is in the world or it is in the faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gabriel Job Harrison, we pray God's blessing upon you all the long days of your long life. We pray this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise God, brother. Praise the Lord.